Hi. Good evening. <laughs> I'm welcome. I've been watching videos today while I've been trying to catch up on my knitting, as well as doing other things, which I'll explain to you in a minute. Um, and it just dawned on me that I never introduced myself. You mostly know who I am anyway, but I thought, well, I will. I'll introduce myself. I'm Jan. I live near Manchester in the UK. I'm 71, as you know, and I'm just a fanatic at yarn hoarding and <laughs> not as much crochet and knit as I would like because my yarn hoarding is winning. Um, I'm on Etsy shop as Urban Gypsy Crochet. I'm also on Facebook with the same name. Or I've got my personal page, which is Janka Others. Um, I can't remember what I am on uh, Flickr because I rarely use it. It's the same with Ravelry. I mean, I don't post any of my uh, finished articles on Ravelry anymore. I make a lot of things up in my head, as you know, so there are no patterns. And I got a lot of negative negativity, I should say, because people thought I was being funny because they'd say, have you got the pattern for it? And I'd say no. And then they'd say, well, will you do a tutorial or will you write out the pattern? No. So then you get a lot of negative comments. Um, you know, so I, I, I just couldn't face it anymore. So I decided, no, no, no more posting on Ravelry. I still look on Ravelry. I look every day. Um, look for the patterns, look what's new in and stuff like that. I've got that many <laughs> patterns in my favourites. If I left to be a thousand, I will never get through them all. So anyway, hi to everyone. Hi to anybody who's new. Now you know who I am. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you every time I come on here, so don't worry about it. Well, just listen for a moment. The only sound you can hear is the washing machine. Why? Two big dogs are in the kennels. My family has gone to Spain for a week. Yay! And Gigi is at home because I only have him Monday to Friday. So, yay, weekend to myself. I was going to do so much. I had um, an order that was paid for that I had to send to the States. So I goes up to the post office today. Didn't really want to go, but I thought, well, I promised her I'll post it, so I'll go. It was closed and I thought this is weird and there's like loads of people standing around and I said what's going on and closed due to industrial action it's something to do with the Royal Mail being privatized I think I mentioned it once before in one of my videos about my postman complaining that you know there's not enough staff and the parcels are piling up and etc etc and they're being offered zero hour contracts and things like that and Nobody's got tenure of job anymore, and oh, excuse me, I've got something in my eye. And, um, you know, I don't know, it's just all going to pot. We used to have a good rail, railway mail system. We used to have a good one, you know, you could post it one day and get it the day after. But like everything else with privatisation, everything's gone to pot. Anyway, after the post office was closed, I was sort of three quarters way up to the supermarket. So I thought I'd better get some food in because, you know, the family's not here. There's nobody to get bread and milk and stuff. I better go and get some stuff. So while I was in there, I always have to have a look down to the crochet magazines, which they've just started selling there. So I've got crochet now. It's, um, oh. Hang on a moment, I'm going to put my goggles on. It's um, issue number nine. And it's not bad one. What came with it was a pack of uh, stitch markers, which I always break because I'm just like kiss of death with these. <laughs> I'm just looking on the back, it says, this is not a toy. I don't believe anybody in their right mind would give those to a child to play with. But you never know, do you? There's some strange people looking around. And inside it is a crochet's 2017 diary. I might give this to one of my friends because it's all Amigurumi's inside it. It's the, it's the diary. 
but there's also lots of patterns at the back you know for little animals and that which I don't do and I actually have bought myself a big desk diary for 2017 so I don't really need two diaries so I think that's going to be finding a new home with one of my friends anyway back to my crochet now uh, I don't always buy this magazine I don't know why I have not bought it before but I don't always buy it and I'm hoping you can see what's going to be in it because the light, I've had to put the big light as Sue would say the big light on that reminds me I haven't phoned Sue to find out how she's gone on I don't know if she's had to have a tooth out or not she had the same problem as me she had a tooth at the back that she'd had filled the filling came out she had it filled again the filling came out so she's at the stage now where she doesn't know whether they're going to try and fill it again or for the third time or whether they're going to take it out i mean that happened with me same thing fell in fell out fell in fell out then when i went to another doc dentist because i just lost faith in this other dentist because he'd done a couple of things before that i didn't like they said it had been overfilled and because he'd over drilled it he'd actually cracked the tooth which was why the filling wasn't stopping in it so there was nothing for it, I had to lose the tooth. So I hope that Sue's not got to lose her tooth. When we get older, we need all the teeth we've got. Yeah. Right, this one's just got a new yarn alert, so you can win tickets to the stitching and sewing hobby craft shop. Stop sh the teeth show. And a new yarn called Serda Wild, which is sort of like a fun furry stuff. Be okay for toys. Um, Signet Yarns. I've got a, a chunky. And then there's a scarf in a box. It's a new scarf kit from Wendy, is it? Yeah. So it's different than Shawl in a Ball. It's called Shawl in a Box. And then there's a book review about the enchanted uh, enchanted forest creatures. Another one for Amigurumis. As you know, I love looking at them, but I don't like knitting them or crocheting them. Um, this is Magnolia Tree Crafts, another local shop to wherever. Um, I wish they'd say where they were. Oh yeah, they do, I beg your pardon. Pointing in Cheshire. That is sort of within striking distance of me if I had a cow. And that one is the West Yorkshire Spillers. That's the new yarn called Fusions. And that's very, very pretty, but it's called Floss Scar. So I think the title gives me a clue that it's going to be super, super fine. Yes, it's a lace weight. Super, super fine. Very pretty. But I don't can do. Now, I mean, I don't make amigurumis, but it's quite cute, isn't it? That's a chameleon. Whenever I say chameleon, I always want to start singing, you know, like Boy George. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. Corner hearts cushion. Isn't it quiet? There's no doggy snoring, there's nothing happening. This is called the Super Stash Busters. And I'm just trying to think who it was. It might have been Potter and Bloom. She was saying that she'd seen some um, fingerless mittens in, oh, one of these really expensive shops. Can't think which one it was. They were to buy in this expensive shop. But there you are, you can make your own. <laughs> I cannot wear a beret. I look like Frank Spencer. I just cannot wear a beret. And this is Kerry Lord from Toft. She's saying how she designs things. It's always a mystery to me how people design things. I've just been watching a video with Kristen Omdahl. I think I put the link on the Facebook page. How she's... It was a live um, YouTube video, but of course I didn't get it when it was live. I just had to watch it later. 
because of course if you're in America I'm sleeping when most of you are doing these videos that's a nice one called Rainbow Rounds again I love these sort of things but I really lack the patience to make anything bigger than a pram rug that's a pretty little one called Ballerina B Bolero or Bolero but our babies are bigger than that now these are baby bargains from Wool Warehouse. I like Wool Warehouse. I've just got my last um, order from them. I'm not sure if they send abroad. This is cute. It's um, Brilliant Braids, it's called. It's a cabled round hat worked vertically. It means you can have lots of fun with variegated yarns and a simple cable stitch. Mm. I like the colours. I like the colours. I like teals, as you could probably tell. And that's saying how um, stash buster yarn, stash tidy up. Oh, I think it's sort of recommending you tidy up your bits and bats and make them into nice balls. That's something I've got to do probably when I finally get my craft room. Now Sue's going to love that. It's called Colour Me Happy. Those are just her kind of colours. And it's, um, oh, it's done in Signet Boho Spirit. I must admit, I've not seen that colourway. Not seen that colourway, it's one I've got to look for. Hmm. No, unless it looks different made up. I thought I'd got all the colours that there was. This is Daisy May again. She was in one of the, um, issues before this and that's her wardrobe but I think it tells you somewhere that you can still get the Daisy May pattern yeah he said if you haven't got your Daisy May doll find read issue 7 or you can go to this website and download the pattern for free right now this is how to make your own coat hanger I don't think I'd ever go that far I have covered crochet um, coat hangers in the past but I think they've used it with cardboard and wire. Oh no, my things will be on the floor with the wardrobe. That's some more about the mystery blanket, which obviously started in another issue. Huh. That's um, a pattern for a Delph. It's not in here. You have to download the pattern from www.janiecrow.co.uk for this it's supposed to be like the Delft Pottery once again me and Afghans no, gonna happen not gonna happen Starlight Blanket it's a bit like the what is it called, the Superman Blanket or whatever similar pattern Five point blanket, or no, it's not five points, but 25 points. I could do one of these actually. I bought some hyacinths in a uh, plant pot when I went to um, IKEA, and they look ugly because they're just in a little red, you know, plastic plant pot at the moment. Um, what else have we got? Oh, you can win a year of paint box yarn. If you get this magazine, I presume, or if you look at this web page, it's www.ppjump.com. No, dot com slash cn9 for a chance to win. But the oh, it's only open to UK residents only. I'm sorry about that. There's a Pookie Pals. I'm not an amigurumi fan as, I, as you told you, but they do look quite easy to make, don't they? Quite like the style of that, but I wouldn't have chosen those colours. It's done in Knit Picks Mighty Stitch. It's going to be a real... It says it's chunky. 
and it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. And does it tell you how many you need? Four, three, and five. So that's 12 balls and they're 100 grams. So it's going to be quite a heavy winter poncho, isn't it? Oh, this is so sweet. It's called Bean Jacket. B E A N. It says it's a unisex garment, but I don't think I'd put a little boy in that. Um, layer this sweet baby cardigan over a dress or as a t shirt for a matador style look. Yeah, I can see a little girl wearing that, but not a little boy. It goes from three to two years old. Yeah. Um, that's a very real mandala. I would have said it would have made a nice um, placemat, but it won't because it's a bit bumpy. I made some once at a time that were bumpy, and every time you put your wine glass down, it tipped over. So it wasn't very really a good, good idea. How to make fabulous. Flop coins, was it? It's an overblown popcorn. Hmm. Whatever. I suppose it has its uses. Uh, are we up to now? How to read a pattern? That'd be good for some people. And that's what's what's going to be in next month. It, no, it doesn't say, because that's this month's. Oh, it's just saying you can have it digitally. Which is quite good if you don't live in this country. You can't pick it up quite easily. Uh, is that what's in next issue? Yeah, that's what's in next issue. There we go. Uh -huh. Third day crochet for your home. I mean, Gigi's that little, I could crochet him the cat basket. <laughs> but as you all know, Gigi would rather sit on my lap any day rather than sit in a basket. Well, where am I up to? I've done no more on the crochet jacket that I um, redid. So that's not done. Although I can have the table open now because I've got no dogs barging into it. So I can finish it off, hopefully tomorrow. I managed to pick up the stitches again, even though I had to re -knit the row, or re-purl the row, I should say. So I managed to get that sorted out again. That's my niece's uh, sweater. And I'm on to the front bit now. And I'm almost up to the neck on that one. This has taken me so long. I look at other people's videos and they say, Oh, I've not got much to show today. And then they produce like four pairs of socks and a load of amigurumis and that. And I'm thinking, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? You've not done much today, <laughs> this week. <laughs> we haven't done anything hardly this week because I'm still knitting that and I knit so slowly. But hopefully because, you know, the family are not here and I don't have to, um, you know, work around them. Let's say, I can just do as I like. I mean, I know they say I can do as I like when they're here, but it isn't quite the same as being on your own. You know, when you can put the light on and go to bed and make as much noise as you want, you know, have a shower whatever time you feel like it, not just so you don't waken them up, you know, if they've gone to bed. And I have strange patterns for sleeping and doing things. I can be up until two and three in the morning, you know, and I can decide to have a shower at one o'clock in the morning, you know, but you can't do these things when you've got other people under your roof. You've got to be thoughtful, you know, and think about them as well, you know. And I, I usually put the washing machine on as well before I go to bed, things like that. <laughs> All anti-social behavior, isn't it, really? So this week, apart from Gigi, I'm hoping that I can persuade Gigi to sleep in his bed because he won't be competing, you know, for my attention as he does with the other two dogs. 
He likes to stake his claim on me by sitting on my knee, as if to say, you know, I can sit on a knee and you can't. It does cause a bit of tension between the dogs because they want to think that they're lap dogs and they can sit with you as well. So I've usually got three heads bobbing about. I've got one on my knee and two heads bobbing about here. Um, unless they're asleep and snoring, of course. <laughs> so I am hoping, I mean, Sue did say she was coming again next week, but it all depends on the dentist, I presume. So I can't let you know a day for her to come. Yeah, so just been watching Zelda NRJ3. She's on a cruise, not a crochet cruise, but she has been crocheting on this cruise. And um, she looks so happy. That's on my bucket list, is a, is a cruise. I don't want to go, well, I don't need to go on the crochet cruise because I think that would irritate me no end. I think that I, when I want to go on a cruise, I would want to see what was happening, not be down below decks, crocheting away in a class. I think I would like to sit on the deck, you know, and watch what's going on. Because I'm nosy. And I like to people watch. I'd like to sit there just with my crochet or whatever and look out to sea. I don't know about you, but I find the sea very tranquil. And when we used to go on holiday, I can perch myself on a rock somewhere. Well, I could, when I could sit on a rock. And uh, just watch the tide going in. You know, there's waves going in and out and in and out. I can watch things like that for ages and I love it. But, you know, I don't want to join in things in the cruise, you know, I don't want to be gung-ho and come and play croquet and come and do this and come and do that. No, leave me alone. <laughs> Lead me to a nice comfy chair. Let me watch the water and just do me crocheting. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I love a bit of social company when I was eating, I presume, yeah, you know. But I'm not a dancer, so I wouldn't want to go to any of the dances and that they had at night. And I'm not one for films. Gosh, I sound a right misery, don't I? I know what I like to watch, which aren't the things my family like to watch. They're going, oh God, what are you watching now, you know? I mean, I hate to tell him, my son, but I don't want to watch all these programmes about people putting cars back together again. <laughs> no. Give me a good old-fashioned murder or whatever. Or I like watching these, uh, you know, forensic type programmes and things like that. I even like watching autopsies, so there must be something weird about me somewhere. I mean, a lot of my favourite programmes have stopped now. I mean, Rizzoli and Isles is stopped. Castle's stopped. And there's another one that's stopped as well. I can't think what it is now, but they've all stopped. So I'm thinking, what am I going to be watching now? All I'm going to be watching is repeats. But Dr. Blake's coming back on again. Starting a new series on Monday. Yay! Well, I hope it's a new series. I hope it's not something that they're building it up and then when I start to watch it, I'll be seen it all before. They do that, you know. They move it from one channel to another. And then they start saying, new series of Dr. Blake or a new series of this. And when you go to watch it, you've watched it all before on a different channel. And I like watching George C. Clarke's Amazing Spaces, seeing people renovate boats and things like that and do things up. I like watching all of that. Not that I can do any of it. It takes me all my time to paint a straight line. And gloss paint just gets on my chest. I think I told you before, my bathroom door has been green with a big patch where I tried to sand it once for about the last five years. Because... Um, I can't paint it. <laughs> if I start to paint it now, there'll be a big dent, you know, where I've sanded it off. So it'll be a big, bold patch. And I can't do with that. You know, the nitromores or whatever it is you put on your paint on to strip the paint off, that really gets on my chest. And my son's as bad as me. He can't do gross paint either. So I guess it's going to stay green with a big, bold patch for quite a long time to come. <sighs> Never mind. Maybe one day I'll get a decorator and <coughs> say, oh, by the way, while you're here, can you just paint that door for me? <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping I can't do that. 
what's it called, vlogmas. I can't do that. I couldn't do a, a video every day. I'd have nothing to say. Just really couldn't do that. I don't know how people do it. They lead more adventurous lives than I do and they go out and about more than me. So they've got something to put on the video rather than just sitting in front of it gassing. Gassing, by the way, is a local word for chatting too much about nothing. Gas bagging or gassing, yeah. Well, that's just me. Anyway, I'm going to go now because uh, I didn't charge up the camera before I started this, so I don't know whether it's going to run out anytime soon. And I'm going to hopefully finish the front of my niece's cardigan and start one of the sleeves. So wish me luck as you wave me goodbye.